nasty. It really does. And worthy to note there as well, the bans being Gale and Max. And, and Gale being banned here for me is a very big deal. We've seen uh, Gale being used in uh, the majority of our, our games on the EU side of things today. So having Gale out of the mix will make a, a big difference. to hand, uh, And it really does always seem to come down to the final set every single time I watch these two teams play in a best of uh, five, best of three. Cursed is bringing it out. The Mortis again. Again, very early stages. What do you make of that, Woody? Super aggressive, and that's just what you love to see from these two squads that know each other so well and are not really willing to give up a single inch here. Whoever gains control of the mid early tends to get a big advantage in this gym grab map, and so far that's going to be Tribe Gaming setting up in the center. But hold on, because Code Magic Purple are going to be getting those Robo Porters, and they're starting to whack away here. Spending a lot of trouble on the backside as Mortis gets the kill, but the return fire from Tom is going to give a big lead to Tribe Gaming. Eight gems in their pocket. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I don't know whether Mortis is the ideal brawler against this comp. Poker can heal, Pam is tanky, uh, and Tom can evade, so it's gonna be tricky. I do kind of feel like this could be the, <laughs> the end of the Mortis streak. We'll have to wait. Because what? Hey, that on Tom. I might be eating my words right here, right now, Woody. Take them and shove them down your face. There is no way that you can say Curse didn't get rewarded that time. Mortis gets a beautiful kill on the back line and will be retreating safely into his own little pocket there. A nice little pin drop there at the last second to give Cursed the BM win. I gotta say, I've a vulnerability for the Tribe Gaming squad there, but I guess Tom overplayed his hand. You saw uh, Carl often getting the win against Mortis, but not that time around. And instead, Curse is going to be going back to a bit more standard pick here, going up in the Carl v. Carl at the left side of the map. Yeah, yeah, Mirror Combo side from the Pam versus Tara Lane there. Uh, do you like the, uh, the tower pick for me? Uh, being able to pop gadget and see where your opposition lies within those bushes can be very, very advantageous in Stonefall. All right, we're going to be relatively even once again, but a setup over here on the right side from Symantec is going to give the edge tribe gaming in the middle field for control. Cursed making another really risky stab down here at the bottom, but it's going to be an even trade of these two Carls. Advantage out for some Bentley if he can get back with those gems, but he's now looking too healthy. Taken down, Twisty Twig finished off right after. Symantec with the lucky number seven gems in his hands. So Magic was like the, the lone survivor. I think every single person went down aside from Semantic in that uh, that battle for those gems. But it is going to be Tribe on 9 now. Uh, Twisty will be doing all he can now to deter Tom from the center of Curse with support. But Semantic here popping down turret. Might be able to get a, a play here if Sun doesn't take him down. But Semantic low. I think Tribe will just hang on here. But it's a risky maneuver here from Tribe. Semantic flexing his muscles as he drops another healing turret to stay just barely alive through that onslaught dropped by Code Magic Purple. Pulling him in with a super and lots of shots from Mr. P were not enough to finish off Pam. She will hold on to the gems and that's going to be a win for Tribe Gaming. Yeah, so try gaming. Uh, Purple or have just completely flipped the board once again uh, and are going to be running Poco, Tara, and Mortis this time. Uh, same brawler set up for Tribe Gaming, but Code Magic Purple are going to be rewriting the script. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Okay, okay, and it does seem to be paired with a much different comp to last time as well. Uh, the Slambulance Mortis comp, uh, we, we're going to have to name this at some point, but uh, yeah, this is going to be very, very interesting to see how this one goes down. Nice setup here in the center for Tribe Gaming, using that healing turret to stay topped off and healthy. A little bit of a gym advantage for them as well. Twisty Twig making a charge in here and dropping some more plant, uh, but not getting very much support from his teammates. He's going to have to rely on some stabs from Cursed and cornered now. Semantic has got no escape route. That's going to be a huge lead for Code Magic Purple. Eight gems in their hands, and the last few remaining seconds needed to get that 10th one. Can they hold on to control of the mid? 
just a little bit more time to hang on now. I'm, I'm christening this comp the Slavulence Slice and Dice. I feel that would be <laughs> appropriate here. Code Magic one gem away now and Sun feeling it out with Twisted does get the gem. And look at this Code Magic Purple. 15 seconds away from taking the first ever twist. He goes down resetting. Oh no. Really in trouble as well. Tribe going in for the steal here. And Spen gets a ton of gems for the spawn. Curse goes down as well. The turn around here. No. The Mortis success rate is going rapidly down the drain, Woody. Just the last second juke there from Sun Bentley. He thought he could grab another gym and stay healthy, but the push from Tribe Gaming would not be denied. Sun Bentley giving up that huge treasure trove of gems has given Tribe Gaming another chance to keep this countdown going. Can Symantec survive? Barely but alive. Ten gems in their hands. Tribe Gaming take the first set. Can